Hello again, I am Blunty, and on my desk here today is uh, 13 capsule toys which I collected while on a recent trip to Japan. I made a little game out of it, actually. I um, went to a, an arcade and got a big pocket full of 100 yen coins, and uh, every single time I walked past a bank of, of capsule uh, uh, vending machines, I would choose one. Sometimes at random, sometimes because I saw something cool on the little posters they have, and I would buy something and go away. I did this over a, a sort of a four or five hour period, I think, in a, a brief window of free time I had on that trip. Uh, and these were it was collected from both uh, around Shinjuku and uh, Akihabara. So um, some of you may remember a video I did uh, recently where I showed off these, which is the panties that I got in a. Uh, Japanese vending machine because I was exploring that that urban legend of vending machine panties, but these all are um, a little more legitimate in their functions. I mean, these are you know normal capsule toys, not uh, weird Japanesey pervy ones. So we'll put that to the side, and what I'm going to do is just open these up one by one for a nice little simple exploration video. Um, I haven't opened any of these myself yet; they've been sitting in a bag waiting for me to do this video. Um, some of them have even still got tape on them, but um, so this, I've, I've forgotten which machines I did by this time because the trip was about a month ago or so, a little over a month ago I guess. So I've kind of forgotten which ones I picked out, so this will be fun for me too, a little surprise present toy thing. So let's crack into the blue one here and see what we got. And actually I won't look at those, I'll just see what comes out of the keychain, anime figure keychain of some kind. And I let's get those out of the way. I don't actually recognise which anime this is from. So if you are a big anime nerd, you know, I'm, I'm a reasonable anime nerd, but my anime knowledge isn't, you know, encyclopedic. Uh, but if you do recognise this little figure from an anime or whatnot, um, let me know what it is. And uh, yeah, so that's the start of it. I'll pop here. Oh, she can't stand up on her own. She'll fall over. Let's go. Oops. Put that aside. Pink one next and. This one's got some ugh, cheap tape on it, which won't come off my fingers now. And go away! Uh, 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 uh. That's frustrating. Uh, open them up here, little latch. Something soft and squidgy. I don't know what this is. Oh yes, I do. I remember this now. This is a uh, Mario-themed one, which ha was from a vending machine that had a bunch of different Mario hats. And uh, this one is a Luigi hat. A Luigi cat hat from the newest Wii U game which had the kitty cat power up thing well that's actually kind of awesome I really really like that one we'll put that aside over there let's have a look at the paper on this one see what else I could have got so there was regular Mario hats and Super Mario hats and the uh, Tanuki ears and kitten ears and the gold one so actually I, I kind of wish I got the Mario one because Luigi is you know second best little brother, but I'm, I'm kind of glad I got the one with the cat ears on it. That's uh, the most special and unique one from that collection, so I'm calling that one a win. Put that over there. Let's uh, get one of the big ones next, uh, that one. And oh, this is one of the camera ones. And this uh, I really like. I got a few of these on my last trip to Japan as well. Um, tiny little keychain model cameras of, of famous and classic cameras. And this one is an Olympus OM. Uh, I'm not sure which specific one it is yet. Let's open it up and have a closer look. I think it's the OM4. I don't know. But uh, check this out. It comes with a little lens and everything, which has uh, got a little bayonet mount on it. So you can pop that on there, pop it off. Very, very cute and clever. It also comes with this little stand here, which plugs into the bottom. And so you can actually pop these uh, little models into the cold shoe or hot shoe on your camera. And, I don't have a camera within reach to show you, do I? I sort of. Oh, grab the little appendix here, so we'll pop this slide out of there. And you'll see that these can pop straight into the top of your camera there, so it's kind of cute when you got them sitting on the shelf. I'm not sure whether you'd want to walk around shooting like that, but you know, it's nifty, it's cute. It's a clever idea, I thought. So I'll pop that one there. Um, that one goes back in there. We'll put that camera away, and we'll pick another one. So. Get rid of the plastic. And um, what one do you want next, guys? Got a far one over here. Let's, let's tape on that one. Let's see if we can break it off. There we go. So, this is a squidgy one. This is. 
nice little purse thingy <laughs> this must have been one of the ones I got while I was drunk um, so yeah it's a little keychain purse thingy obviously quite feminine padded stuff I don't know you keep coins in there or something I suppose um, yeah I'm not sure what to feel about that one it's um, I'm calling that one a loss because it's not very cute not very practical not very funny yeah, this one next yeah, let's open him up here Ow! Ow, that goes straight underneath my fingernail. Pop that over there. Uh, oh, this is another little keychain creature or a character of some kind. And... Oh, I remember these ones. These ones are little wall switches. <laughs> I can see that the nose is a little switch. It doesn't actually switch anything on or off. It's just kind of cute and funny. I'm not sure whether this is a reference to a show or a brand or, I don't know, an ad or something like that, but that's kind of cute and amusing. In fact, I might put that in my bag because I'm the type of person who likes to fiddle with stuff from time to time to keep my sort of hands busy and just idly mess with stuff in my hands. So I might put that on my keychain or my bag or something so when I'm bored I can sit there on the train or whatever and just bug everyone around me by going click, 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 win. And this one next. So, it's just taped up, or it's just very, very tight. There we go. Another little character one. We'll throw that aside. And along similar lines, actually, I think this guy is supposed to be a little power plug guy. So we've got the switch guy over there, and this guy has a head like a little Japanese power plug. Same as the American power plug, I suppose, but, you know, obviously Japanese because it's Japanese thing. Oh, I got little arms that move about. Oh, I like this guy. This guy's going to sit on my shelf or on top of my TV or something. I like having little figures around that sort of stuff but um oh his keychain fell off i suppose that's supposed to go through one of the loops in his ear oh it's got a sad face on the other side oh he's sad he's happy he's sad he's happy he's sad he's happy there we go it's kind of appropriate little bipolar plug-headed guy and next one blue one here which is all sealed up capsule q characters i don't ah there we go i knew it had to have a weak spot Pop. Ow! Damn it! I'm gonna have no thumbs left. Oh, yeah. Actually, we'll we'll leave that one till last because I'm gonna have to put that one together. So let's go this one now. In fact, this one might be along the same lines. So, but that one, that one's really cool. I remember getting that one. That was like a 500 yen machine. That's about five dollars. Pop him open there. And what do we? Oh, yep. That's another cool one. Uh, we'll pop that one over there too. We'll go to this little red one next. Ow. Ow. And... <laughs> I remember this one. Give me a sec. I need a prop for this one. There we go. I need my iPhone for this one because this is just hilarious. These are underpants for your iPhone. And this is number five from the set, apparently. We'll get rid of that. So this is the... Uh, <laughs> another... Japanese vending machine from which I've got a pair of underwear, but this underwear is for your phone a pop over the bottom here designed specifically for iPhone So it um, covers up your little home button there, but also has a little cutout in the crotch for your power cable <laughs> And that is just kind of hilarious to me that um, Makes me laugh and giggle very much as you've heard. I'll pop that over there. Pop the phone back in Alrighty, next up we'll go this guy. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm clearing my throat a bit here. I've got a frog on my throat today. So I'll pop him open and get rid of that. Aha! A little Gundam figure. And I actually know it's not. Um, is that Gundam or is that the other one? Oh, I'm getting all confused now. So anime nerds are going to get all spazzed out. It's. um, No, it is Gundam, isn't it? I am thinking the right thing, aren't I? I can't even remember which show it was from, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that little guy. We'll pop him over there with the rest. And that one next. Tape on this one. Do do do. Ow. Ah, ah. No, can't brute force it. I'm gonna have to peel the tape off. There we go. Actually, that was smart. I put the tape on the bottom instead of getting it all stuck all over your fingers. Uh oh. Mysterious black bag. Is this one? Of, is this a naughty one I've come across? Actually, let's not look at the uh, package and give it away. Mysterious black bag. What's inside it is? Um, 
Oh, <laughs> this is a model of a of a lens, which I don't know why it was in the mysterious black bag and everything, but looks like we've got to put it together ourselves. So, pop him open there. That is the end element, which apparently slides into there, and I guess that would go there. Uh, okay, we'll do this. Put that one there. Then that goes in there, and it even comes with a lens cap. Pity it not a real lens of any kind, it would have been, whoops, and there goes the end cap. <laughs> but that does have a bayonet mount on it, I wonder if that'll fit on the, uh, on the Olympus one. Mm, nope, that was a shame, that would have been funny. Um, but yeah, a little mount and everything, I'm not even sure, well, it's got no markings on it whatsoever, and it's all funny and cheap plastic and weird, so, uh, that keeps coming off. Now I'll put that over there. Um, that one. Ow! 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 Pinch my fingers. Oh, that's got tape on it. Brute force. There we go. Do do do. Ah! This is another cute one. Actually, I'm going to need my my phone back for this one. So give me a second. Okay, as you can see, it's a little kitten figurine. A little cat. Cats, obviously, very popular in Japan, but it's got a suction cap on the back of him, too, and this is what attracted me to it when I saw the pictures on the machine, because the idea is you stick the cat on the back of your phone, like so, and it is a phone stand. So the little cat is is holding up your phone, which I think is just kind of hilarious, and it should work in landscape mode as well. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that the best mobile phone stand you've ever seen in your life? That's wicked in my opinion. Over there, holding up my phone at the back. Uh, one more, actually three more because of those, but oh, another camera one this time. This is a Pentax, it looks like a K1000 or MX variety, I think. Uh, whoop, yeah, oh, come on now. That, yep, Pentax MX called it, which is a uh, bigger brother of the camera I first learned to shoot properly on. That's got a little pancake lens and all. So I actually do have a, a, a real Pentax MX around here, but it is uh, a non-working sample that I bought just for the hell of it for like five bucks from a camera market and whatnot. So again, we can pop that in there and it will uh, go onto a, a hot shoe on your camera. But yeah, little Pentax MX, very classic, well-known camera. So I'm calling that one a win as well. Now, on to these ones here, which I put aside, so. Let's open up here and I'll show you why these ones are my favourites. So, you've obviously recognised the colour scheme already if you're any kind of uh, fan of Japanese anime. It is, of course, Neon Genesis Evangelion. And it is the uh, Shinji's uh, uh, zero, 00. Oh, no, zero 01. Oh, did I break his arm off? Or, nope, the arm comes over. So, let's just tear all these open. Come on. Pop, pop, pop. So this, this is a, a clear favourite. Using a little thingy over his head to help keep his little horn piece from snapping off while he's in there. Oops, still with a little bent. It's a little bent there. Let's see if we can correct that a bit. There we go, it's not too bad. So let's pop him, whoops, pop him back together. Well, not back, to, oh, together at least. Straighten out the wobble bits. Do do do, do do. <laughs> I done busted my leg! He's uh, dancing. Actually, we'll pop that on these, which will help straighten it out, no doubt. <laughs> it's still a bit. I'm gonna have to straighten his legs out a bit, but um, yeah, he kind of. Oh dear, have I even got these on the right? No, they can't go the other way around, can they? Yeah, I'm gonna have to straighten his legs up before he's gonna have to stand on that thing properly. But there, as you can see, a surprisingly well detailed, well modelled, and even well painted. Little figurine, especially for something that came out of a, I think it was four or five hundred yen capsule machine. So that, very, very, very cool. I'll pop him over there, I'm just going to fall over. No, he's alright. Now, the last one, this is going to be my favourite, I can tell already. And again, if you're any kind of nerd, you'll have recognised the colour scheme already. Iron Man, of course. So, without further ado, oh, that's a good one. That one was actually perforated properly, so it could tear open. So, this one's a little more. Uh, made from a little more tougher plastic so I don't think he's going to have the bendy issues that we had just now with uh, Unit 1. There we go. There we go. 
and there we go and these are all registered around so they just fit in one way and and that is a rather snazzy Iron Man figure as far as I'm concerned it's got some battle damage there uh, it's uh, got the circle on the chest so it's from the first movie model really um, but does he stand up oh nope he's supposed to lean sit down like that like spider-man kind of pose there we go so knocked everything over there but yes ah, there we go uh, oh there goes the disc from the Evangelion figure and everything oh but yeah not a bad haul for a bunch of randomly selected uh, capsule toys We've got a few winners there I like the Iron Man I like the little manic depressive plug facey thing I like the Luigi cat ears hat my Pentax and my Olympus and definitely my uh, my my new phone stand, which I'm going to use a lot, I think. And there we go, let figure. Man's was a bit wacky. Uh, don't know what that's from, and a weird little purse thing. But yeah, that's um, quite an acceptable haul, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I hope that's uh, past sort of a uh, few uh, minutes of you. Don't actually, how long have we been going now, though? Well, okay, this way longer than I thought it would. Did you listen to me all the way through, waffling about toys I got out of vending machines? Man. Must have nothing better to do today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.